Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator, and today's tutorial is on ramps, material ramps. Um, specifically, color ramps. Now, before I get into this tutorial, um, I'd like to say that I apologize for not making any tutorials in how many months. Um, I sound really nasally because my nose is all stuffed up. I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so I'm going to be saying, um, and blah, 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 because I don't script them. So, I'm not sure exactly, I'm not 100% with my Blender stuff at the moment, so, just cut me some slack during the tutorial. Alright, so, let's explain color ramps. Color ramps, I think what they do is, um, or how they work, I mean. I think how they work is that, where, on your shape, where it's a certain shade, like light or dark, like if it's like the light is really shining on it hard, or there's barely um, any light shining on it, so it's really dark, it'll be different colors in that certain area, if you kind of get what I mean. Um, for example, see that's really bright here? Over here is where the bright color is, so like dark and bright. So if you add, for example, a color here and say it's red. It'll kind of be the middle shade, which will be here. So we can do that. We're going to color ramp, red, and it kind of goes in the middle in there. Kind of see what I'm saying? So, just want to give you a little example. So what we're going to do is you're going to delete your default cube, space, add mesh, UV sphere. What you're going to do is you're going to go into edit mode, and... Just by holding shift and right clicking everywhere, just select a bunch of random vertices. And once you do that, what I want you to do is press the S key to size them up. And let's just make them stick out pretty well and select everything subdivide it then go to add modifier subsurf levels 2 um, you actually don't have to subdivide it if you want because it will become pretty laggy but this is for high quality so anyway um, just go to your camera view right away um, I'm just gonna move my camera around a second you don't know how to move the camera, you shouldn't be watching the tutorial, but press the G key and then X, Y, or Z axis. Alright, I'm going to rotate this Whoa. on the Z axis. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our shading tab, material buttons, add a new material. Now, um, you really don't need to set this color um, to anything, I usually just put it at white. So, now we're going to go under ramps. Make sure you have show color ramp selected and go to color band. Sorry about that. I had uh, people in the background. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is, as I said, this is where the lighter shades are, and whatever color down here is where the darker shades are. So you select your curves like this, your color curves. I think that means active color. Oh active color, curve, whatever. I say curve for some reason. Um, increase the alpha of the first one and change the color to whatever you want. So I'm going to go with a red. Now we're going to add a new color and I'm going to make it, uh, uh, let's try yellow. It looks pretty cool. You can see if you drag this just by left clicking You'll adjust how much is like showing. So right in here, we're only gonna have a little bit of, of red, a bit more yellow, and then a lot of a greenish blue. I'm just gonna put that back in the middle. Position also is here, so 0 0.5 is the center. Um, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna add another. Just stick it in here, and I'm gonna make it blue. Alright, that looks pretty cool. We're gonna take this down a little. 
Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, let me change the color of this a bit. So you kind of see how it affects your, your shape and everything. It's, it's pretty neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this. Apologize for being stuffy. And, well, okay, let me change the, the lamp positioning. Alright. So I'm going to render. And as you can see, where the light is hitting it directly, go into this tab here, select this. The light's hitting it directly, it's blue. The light blue. See, that corresponds to that. And the darker areas is the orange. You see how that works? So it's pretty neat. And it all, it all, excuse me. It always looks like it's uh, partially reflective already, just due to the way the material ends up. So that's always a neat effect also. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change my ramps around here. Um, kind of want a lot of reds. So now I'm going to re-render it. Alright, see that looks you know, pretty neat, adds some different effects and whatnot. Um, I always recommend all the way to the right actually is adding a lighter color. So, even if you want to just add white, looks nice. Adds like a fake high specularity. So now what we're actually going to do is, to make it look nice, we're going to go under shaders, turn the reflection all the way up, specularity all the way up, leave the hardness at 50, emit probably about 0.5, and activate ray mirror, do 0.3, and then change fade to sky color to fade material color, fade to material color. I'm going to render the current frame. Now the sky's blue, so it might make it look a little weird. You can't fully see the reflections right now, but if you add objects around and even let's just increase. So just messing around with it, it adds some really nice material effects. Um, you can start to see the reflections in there now, and right there. So um, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Um, share the video with anyone you, who you think might find it interesting. I'm kind of stuck between 400 to 500 views on all my videos a day. I'm trying to root for a thousand. I want to get it up there. So um, you know, tell people about my tutorials if they'd be interested. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, thanks for watching my next tutorial. Bye.